You know, I, it, it has been really interesting. Uh, for those of you who weren't here, we did this kingdom challenge where we handed out uh, $5,000 in $100 bills. I felt like a drug dealer, but um, <laughs> that's another story. But um, uh, And the, the deal is you if you took the challenge, took the $100, then you would use it uh, for some uh, kingdom ministry uh, and uh, bless people. And the idea is that, you know, God's ministry goes out. It's not what happens when you come in here and watch, you know. It's what we do out there. And so uh, it's been really exciting for me. I feel like I've got a ringside seat at this crazy circus because I'm, I'm kind of hearing bits and pieces of what's going on out there. And uh, uh, I hope the pastor doesn't get mad at me, but I'm going to break one of his rules today. Yeah. Uh, some people have been asking me to give some examples of what this, because they're having trouble getting their head around, you know, what this is. And so I want to um, invite Mark Weber to come up. I'm going to interview him and uh, see if he's a good example or a bad example, but um, I, I want him to tell a little bit about his Kingdom Challenge experience and we can uh, celebrate that and also kind of get some ideas for ourselves. Is that fair to do? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I hope the pastor doesn't get mad at me, but you know, it's, Mark, good to see you, man. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So, uh, you did take the $100? Well, I did, um, and I have a confession to make, John. Um, not in front of everybody, that's why we have those little rooms. Well, well, uh, <laughs> The, the story that I told you was actually plan B. My original plan was to donate my $100 to one of the Indian tribes around here using... One the of casino! The, the casino <laughs> as my vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, Thank you for that. Talk Wait, me. okay, that would be on the bad idea side, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, you never know when you bring somebody up. You just never know. So, okay, so tell us a little bit about what, what, what you did. Well, I shop at a uh, market up here on 125th and Aurora, and that's where I buy my coffee every morning. I've gotten to know to the uh, owner and the family that uh, operates the store, and a lot of street people come into that store, uh, and I've noticed that it's not just the prostitutes, it's not just the crackheads, but there's real people in need that come in. So I appro approached him, and I said, uh, or my minister gave me this hundred dollars and I'm supposed to do something with it and I thought that maybe you could start a slush fund and keep it behind the counter and um, if somebody came in and they were a little short of cash you could give it out uh, you know to make up the difference and I could see the wheels in his head turning I was like what kind of scam is this guy pulling yeah. <laughs> what, that's what I think <laughs> what, what, what church gives their parishioners a hundred dollars yeah. So we talked about it a little bit, and he said, well, he wanted to talk to his family, and he would get back to me. But he took the $100, he put it in an envelope, and he stuck it in the register. And it was a few days before I could come back to the store. And when I did, he took me off to the side, and he said, well, uh, first I talked to my family. And he's Muslim, and goes to a, uh, a mosque here in the north end of Seattle, and he talked to his um, 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 mom, mom who is like John is to our church. It's probably better. <laughs> he talked to them and uh, when he told his mom what these crazy Christians were doing, uh, he said, well, I'll match it. So he put in a hundred dollars. <laughs> well, the mosque is now joined in the kingdom challenge. Whoa. So after that, he, he continued to talk with his family and they tried to decide what they were going to do and they decided they were going to put in a hundred dollars. Cool. <laughs> and they, they chose five people that shop at their store on a regular basis that they wanted to help. One is a gentleman that has cancer that lives at the trailer park behind their store. Uh, and he's, uh, he's too weak to walk all the way up to the Albertsons at 130th, so he shops at their store. Another was a young woman that lives at one of the motels across the street and has a young uh, one-year-old little girl. And then there were some elderly people that come in. So they took the $300, they divided it up, they made five um, baskets of, of things. Of, they put in toothpaste, toothbrush, shampoo, those sorts of type of items, but also uh, easily fixed food items. And for the young woman with the baby, they put in a couple of things of Pampers for her and then gave those away. That's so cool. Yeah. It's awesome. Isn't that something? <laughs> so, so now, Harbor Church is joined with the mosque and uh, what those crazy Christians are doing. I like that, the crazy Christians. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that. That's really great. And uh, I love the idea of uh, when we do something in a kingdom spirit that God makes it far bigger than what we might come up with, right? Isn't that cool? 
Thank well, you. I, no. John, I just want to say I wish I could take credit. I know. Uh, but I can't. It was just my <laughs> idea was to hand the responsibility over to this gentleman and let him take care of it. And it grew. So you're a coward, really, and the Lord knows you're cowardice. <laughs> Basically, that's the truth. Uh, yes. But ever since then, uh, he and his brother, who are the, the primary pro uh, proprietors, have been treating me like their brother. Yeah. When I come in, they greet me like a brother. It's really built a great relationship between... You guys are a ministry team now. Yeah. That's so yeah. cool. That's what we want to see happen, right? Great, great. Thanks, Thanks John. Wow. That's the kingdom challenge. I, I was worried when he started out at the Indian Casino, but you know that <laughs> they need the Lord too. <laughs> Don't get any ideas from that one. Isn't that exciting though to see how something grows bigger than what we might even think? And as we allow other people to become part of it, and um, that's, that's what we're hoping to have happen. So thanks for sharing that, Mark. It's fabulous.